Greetings! Welcome back to another guide. World of Warcraft has over 800 different toys that can be really fun to play around with. Maybe do some RP here and there. But have you ever wondered which ones could actually be really useful in some situations? Here is my top 10 list of my most useful toys in World of Warcraft. Starting with number 10, we got the Hearthstone toys. The cool thing about them is that you can use them instead of using the default Hearthstone in your bags. And so whenever you change your inn, you can safely delete your Hearthstone to gain plus one extra bag space and use your toy instead. The one I'll be mentioning here is the Yonir Wind Sage's Hearthstone. You get it as a reward from the achievement Honor Our Ancestors. You will need to give offerings for 10 NPCs found in the Yonaran Plains. All the 10 items that you need can be bought off the auction house. I will start with the likely most expensive one, all the others are really cheap. You will need one Fire Blessed Greatsword. It can be any variation and any eye level. This sword is a world drop, so you will most likely find it a bit expensive. In this case, I suggest you try searching on other realms, and if you found its price acceptable, then complete the achievement on that realm. Here are the other 9 items. 1 Thrice Spiced Mammoth Kebab 1 Enchant Boots Plains Runner's Breeze, Tier 1 1 Horn O Mead 1 Exceptional Pelt 1 Feral Hide Drums 1 Awakened Air 2 Brazed Ruffalon Briskets 1 Elemental Moat and 5 Rythebark Tier 2. After you get them all, Head over to the Onarin Plains to 85.7, 20.8 and inside this hut you will find an Essence of Awakening. Click on it and you will get a buff that will enable you to see the 10 NPCs, otherwise they'll be invisible to you. Now you can go visit all of them and give them their offerings. After you're done with all 10, you'll get the achievement and the toy. If you found this achievement hard to get, maybe because of the Fire Blessed Greatsword, there are so many other Hearthstone toys out there, such as the Shadowlands Covenant ones. You simply need to join any Covenant, reach Renown 11, and buy the related toy from the Renown Quartermaster for 750 anima. Number 9. Fast Mount Toys There's several of them in the game, and they mostly work only in certain expansions. I'll mention two of them since they're still relevant today. First one is Barud the Brisk. If you ever want to farm stuff on Argus, you gotta get this toy since flying is not allowed there. And it will give you a boost of 420% movement speed for 10 seconds. It has a 20 minute cooldown, it only works on Argus, and it drops from the rare Barud the Bloodthirsty found at this spot in Eredeth. It does have a pretty decent drop chance, so it shouldn't take you more than a couple times to get it. But remember, sometimes you won't find the rare, as most Argus rares are on different spawn rotations. The second one is the Silver Shardhide Whistle. You can only use this one in Shadowlands zones, which are the four main zones, the Maw, Corthia, and Zerith Mortis. This toy only has a 5 minute cooldown and you get it from a treasure in Corthia. To unlock it, Head over to this area, search for a Noxious Moth, there's usually a few of them around. After you click on it, you will get an extra button. Use it on a Shardhide Growler, which will make you mount it for a while. Go to this tree found at 4729 and run into it. 
This will make the dislodged nest on top fall to the ground. Loot it and you'll get the toy. Number 8. Training Dummies They're very useful as they allow you to test your abilities or simply if you need a target for any given reason. The one I'll be mentioning is a toy you can get from a treasure in the Waking Shores. It's the Black Dragon's Challenge Dummy, which drops from the lost obsidian cache. To unlock it, you first need to go to this location. You will find a goat and next to it a sour apple. Pick it up. Then go to this spot right here, where you will find the Black Talon Shadow Claw. Throw the apple at it, and a couple seconds later, you'll be able to ride it. He will drop you off in front of a cave. At the entrance, pick up the lost obsidian cache key. Walk your way to the end of the cave, and there you will find the chest. Open it and the toy is yours. Number 7. Damage Reduction The toy is called Whole Body Shrinka. It can be extremely useful as it greatly reduces your damage dealt, and your size, and your walking speed. This can be useful in many situations when it comes to old content farming, as sometimes you'll find yourself one-shotting the mobs, wishing you weren't for some quest to work. The effect lasts for 3 minutes, it goes away if you mount up, and the toy has a 30 minute cooldown. You can only buy it on a Horde character, but you can use it on both Horde and Alliance characters. You can find the vendor Ravika on the Echo Isles, selling it for 25 gold. If she's not there, then you're in some Legion phase, and instead you will find her at this spot in Juratar. Number 6. Fishing Boat The one we're talking about is the Tuscar Dinghy. It's a cute fishing boat that lets you fish, and the best part about it is that it has no cooldown. You can use it whenever you want, for as long as you want. It is a reward from the achievement River Rapids Wrangler. You need to catch 40 fish with the given abilities in one session of Rurik's River Rapids ride. You can see how many fish you're catching displayed on a buff. To unlock the ride, you first need to do a short questline starting with the quest Mammoth's Matter, found here. After you're done with the last quest, you'll always be able to speak to Rurik here and take the ride again. This achievement is a little challenging. The best advice I could give you is try to catch as many fish as you can at the start of the ride, since you start at low speed. Also, the fish respawn, so you can look behind you and catch some new fish. Make sure to always use the ability Drop Wide Net whenever you pass by a large pool of fish to take them all at once. If you couldn't catch 40 fish, you can always retry. Good luck! Number 5. Scouting Maps These are very useful, as after usage, they will reveal all available flight points for that specific continent or expansion. Whenever I make a new character, one of the first things I do is use all these maps and not worry about having to walk or manually fly to other places. They are a bit costy though, as each one of them costs 10,000 gold, but it's a great investment in my opinion since you only really need to buy them once for your whole account. You can get them from Chrome Stout Arm in Ironforge if you're Alliance, or Estelle Gendry, found either in Orgrimmar or the Undercity, if you're Horde. But they do have one requirement in order to purchase them, which is exploration. Each one of them requires that you fully explore the related continent or expansion before you can buy it. You can simultaneously work on the Universal Explorer achievement, which gives you the title The Explorer. Number 4. Portable Mailbox Have you ever found yourself stranded in the middle of nowhere, needing to use a mailbox? Well, there are several ones you can get. Here's an easy one. The Ahuna Perch. It is a reward from the quest Befriending Wings and Wind, which becomes available to you at Quartermaster Husang as soon as you hit Renown 14 with the Maruk Centaur in the Onaran Plains. Number 3. Slow Fall. This one's very fast and easy to get, and you can use it anywhere. It's not zone or expansion restricted. It's the stylish black parasol. Simply go to Revendreth to this location and loot the stylish parasol treasure. 
it has a cast time, but you can cast it while moving. And remember, it does take some time to activate. The umbrella will stay with you for 15 minutes, but the slow fall effect only lasts for 15 seconds. It doesn't really matter because it will keep activating as long as you're still carrying it. This toy only has a 5 minute cooldown, which means you can basically keep carrying it at all times. Number 2. Wormholes What's better than having the ability to teleport almost anywhere on any class? That's what wormholes do. You do need to be an engineer to use them though. And each one has a specific engineering skill required to use it. Although most of them only require skill 1 in that specific expansion's engineering meter. If you don't want to craft them yourself, you can look them up on the auction house and just buy them. Some take you to fixed points, such as the Shadowlands one, and others take you to random locations, such as the Dragon Isles one. And finally, at number 1, the Magical Snow Sled. In my opinion, it's one of the most useful toys out there. Maybe not the most, but it's definitely underrated. When you use it, you will hop on a vehicle, and will have one ability to use. Using it will make the sled push forward, and it only has a 5 second cooldown. You can use it starting at level 1. You can use it indoors. It can go all the way up to around 550% movement speed, which is mind-blowing for at least a low-level character. And while riding it, all hostile mobs will become neutral. It only has a 5 minute cooldown, but it starts counting down at the moment you stop sliding. Also keep in mind that you cannot use it inside instances or cities. It's not just useful, but also a very fun toy to play around with. To get it, you do need to farm a bit of rep. You need to hit Renown 26 with Iskara Tuskar in the Azure span, and when you do, you'll get a quest from Murik that lets you choose either the Snow Sled or the Tug Sled. The Tug Sled requires another player for it to work. But don't worry, if you've already picked it up, you can always go back to Murik and buy the Snow Sled for 5 Ruined Rythabark Tier 2, 5 Chromatic Dusk, and 400 Dragon Isle supplies. And that is it. Please let me know if you found this video helpful. I would love to know what your favorite useful toys are. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future similar content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you later.